it's hard to get a demonstration or a feel for, um, for the phase because it's just hard to show it. Right here, this really is a laser beam moving up and down very fast. Okay? Even if you could see it moving up and down very fast, it would still be hard to get an idea for the phase lag because it's moving down. You could kind of visualize the phase, but you have to compare it to the drive phase right, over here. Right? So you need to know this has a phase of zero. We use this to define when time equals zero. And you have to look at the response of that. And sure, I could put them on an oscilloscope, but that doesn't really tell you anything. If you really wanted to have an intuitive feel, we need to think of a way to get an intuitive feel for phase. So it seems like there's something in our childhood, something we've done that I have done. Let me think if I can come up with a way to see phase, to feel a phase lag on resonance. It's a swing. We've all played with a swing when we were a child, and that's actually a way to remember the phase relation between the drive and the response. So I'm going to demonstrate it as soon as this kid gets out of the way here. And his dad was a little worried about the grown man uh, on the swing. So, OK, kid's out of the way. So when you um, did a swing, OK, let me fix my hair. Hold on. OK, here we go. When you do a swing, what you do when you learn to pump the swing yourself is you're basically leaning. Right? So if you just sit on a swing, you're a pendulum, and your center of mass rests under the pivot point. But by leaning forward and backwards, you're adjusting your center of mass in front of the pivot point or behind the pivot point, which creates a force forward and backwards. So also what you do to get a big amplitude is you lean, and you put that driving force the, of your leaning right at about at the resonant frequency or the natural frequency of your own pendulum, of you on the swing. So now, I want you to think back when you were really pumping the swing hard and when you were really hitting that biggest amplitude you could get. When you're really pushing is when you're changing your position. So watch me swing and think about it. And when you really change your position, it wasn't at the top of the motion, and it wasn't at the bottom of the motion. It's when you were really going into the top. So let's watch here. As I'm going into the top of the forward swing, before I get there, I start leaning. And then I get to the top. That's the response dragging or lagging the driving force. And at the back, I'm leaning now before I get to the top, and then I get to the top. See, there's, it's not quite pi over 2, but there is a phase lag between uh, the drive and the response. And then, of course, here's an Olympic dismount for you. There we go. Yes, that was it. The swing, we have all experienced the phase lag on resonance before.